I'm Tiffany Stevenson bringing you this week's Rural Roundup. It's quite nice to be having a dry day after all the rain that we've been having uh, which seems to have covered most of the country and a nice frosty morning as well. With some frost and some snow being seen um, it's also always a good time to think about what you're doing with your farmyard manure if you're mucking out cattle to courts at this time of year. So make sure you aren't spreading any farmyard manures when um, it's been frosty for 12 out of a 24 hour period and also don't go and spread any manures when there's snow on the ground as well. Um, also it's worth remembering that we're currently in the NVZ close period so don't go and spread spread any high-end um, manures such as cattle slurry or pig manure. A lot of people have been asking about EECS 2023 and if they've got in or not. At the moment we're taking it that no news is good news so we are hopeful that we'll be hearing in the next seven to ten days what the results are. There is a couple of deadlines uh, which you need to be thinking about. So if you're part of the Scottish Suckler Beef Support Scheme, you might have noticed you can make your uh, claim just before the end of the year as they close the website for essential maintenance. So it has been an extension on the deadline for putting in your application. You can do this through until midnight on the 14th of January. So make sure you have submitted your car scheme claim by then. So the Agricultural Flood Bank Repair Scheme 2023 um, is open for people in the Aberdeen, City of Aberdeen, Perth and Kinross, Angus, Fife, Moray and parts of the Highlands at uh, the Speyside area. So this is for people that had flood damage um, caused by um, the storms in the autumn of 2023. So you can claim up to £30,000 per farm, um, which has a business reference number. So this is for you to help you to fix um, these areas. So it's worth um, having a look if you haven't already heard about it. And the applications for this close on the 15th of January. So there's an application form which you'll find on the Rural Payments and Services website, which you need to fill in and email across to them along with supporting evidence. As well as this, they're looking for a signed copy um, off your form as well to be posted to them um, just to make sure that they've got all this information. So make sure you have a look at this, have a look on the Rural Payments and Services website for all the details about how to do it. But the deadline for this is the 15th of January. Finally, the last claim deadline which you need to be thinking about is for the Preparing for Sustainable Farming. The deadline for this is the 29th of February. So this is for work that's been carried out from the 1st of January 2023 through until the 31st of December 2023. So this will be for your carbon audit, for soil analysis um, that you got carried out, as well as for animal health and welfare interventions. So it's a good idea to make sure you get your claim in in plenty of time. You do still have a wee while to go. Um, the claims um, have been quite low. Um, so it's a good idea to put your claim in because if you don't use it, you could end up losing having this option available to you as well. There will be another round of this grant scheme for preparing for sustainable farming in 2024. So this will be work carried out from the 1st of January 2024 through until the 31st of December and claims will have to be made by the end of February 2025. So if you haven't gone and taken part in the last two years, you are able to claim in 2024 or if you have previously claimed you can do another um, veterinary option you could uh, go and do more soil samplings and you can claim again it's definitely very worthwhile taking advantage of this funding as it is unlikely to continue going forward so make the most of it thanks for listening and we'll see you again next time